you for being patient. Uh, I'm so happy to see people from even 70s and 80s and 90s and 2000. It's um, really a fantastic occasion to enjoy this day. So uh, I wasn't going to talk about it, but so it was so and so, but eventually I thought, you know, why not? So, Koivo uh, Hoods, <coughs> that uh, came from an article in our guild magazine by Antti Pohiranta, Antti, Antti Raju. Ah, there he is. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I thought that why not? And uh, since I did not get some of my old classmates, fellow students to come, uh, the social aspect uh, was not quite what I wanted this to be, and that's one reason why I wanted to say something myself. But then I have. Uh, uh, Special guest here that, that is the reason for, for my chosen career. Uh, my brother, Antikoi, wants to say a few words. Hmm. You did want to say a few words. First thing that came to my mind was that in elementary school, for some reason, he did not want to go to school at all. And my mother said, take the kicks uh, sled them and put him on the kick sled and take him to school. And I did that and sure enough he went to school and stayed there. I don't know what the reason was that he did not go to, go to school and I did not go to know what time. Then uh, the second thing that came to my mind was that when he was in high school he started uh, collecting uh, from Helsinki Sanomat, which is a major newspaper in Helsinki, he started collecting caricatures uh, made by Kari Suomalainen. And he put, made it in a notebook and sent it to me. I was studying at uh, Cornell that time. He sent it to me as a Christmas present. And it was very pleasant to read and see what uh, was happening in film. Easy Finland. to read. Mostly pictures. <laughs> and I found the same notebook in the attic the first last summer. Then, uh, next thing came to my mind was about the summer that he spent with me in, in the US. And one thing that came to my mind that he used to go to watch baseball. New York Mets baseball, which is a team that was start, started and lost most of their games in the first three, four years. Not Mets, but, uh, you know, baseball. <laughs> and fortunately, then after a few years, the team became so good that they won the World Championship under Stacy Sanger Strangle. But he used to go to the baseball games, and I don't know how much he understood about it, but I did not want to start testing him. Then the other uh, thing about another summer was that he spent with me, uh, Summer, when I was at Purdue, he took some summer classes and uh, realized that he was doing very well with the test. And then I started convincing him that why not stay for the senior year at Purdue and skip the senior year in Helsinki or Finland Institute of Technology that time. And then he would not uh, need to write the uh, thesis for the diploma engineering degree, uh, particularly if he was planning to go to graduate school there, I felt that it was not uh, uh, a wise thing to do, spend one year writing the thesis when he wants to go to that school. So he finally agreed with me, one of the few things that he agreed with me, he stayed at the school for the senior year. And one thing that uh, stuck in my mind even now was that there was a course in math department of computer math department, abstract algebra. 
And that was a course suggested to electrical engineering students, seniors, to take it. And also computer science students to take it. And now at the beginning, there were over 30 students there. And then after drop and add period, there were less than 10, and Haiti was one of those 10. The particular double E students <coughs> occupied first 78% of the seats in the beginning, they seemed to drop the course. But it was just too abstract for political engineering students. Uh, you said something? Then he I wanted to convince him to stay in our graduate work at Purdue. And to work with KS4, our cash shop, our parent commission of identification, but I could not <coughs> convince him to do that. He went to the University of Minnesota. And uh, there uh, studied first under Steve Kahn and did some simulation work on the uh, uh, on the optimum control problem with inter just intercept problem or was it the uh, uh, in any way he after master uh, work he changed to Professor Lee was more theoretical, and when you hear me, you think that it is a Chinese person, but there's out to be a second uh, generation, and Haiti was working with him and finished the PhD there. And after that, Haiti was there, and after that, he went to finish, after finishing PhD, he went to the University of Toronto, and then Thunder University. Uh, okay. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> 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 Some of you have to give a chance to a professor to talk. Thank you. And happy new year. Happy birthday. Andy is actually our previous secretary started looking at that. When did Andy get his diploma degree? Oh, in their degree, and, and uh, was he the first one in the area of automatic control? No, he was not the first one, he was the second one. The first one was Jorma Rissan. <laughs> yes, because uh, Ante has always been saying, that, Oh, don't read that, this is in <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Keep on moving. Uh, uh, let's see, let's go. Okay, so uh, yes, well, uh, everybody knows that, that uh, if you have a name, you get mail that uh, sounds sort of funny. And, and I have received all sorts of things, including Heiko Toivo. <laughs> Weak hope. <laughs> I, but I also saw Heikko Kaivo. <laughs> hey, yes, there's a list that uh, they have listed once. But I'll, I'll skip that, that's true. But the best one was this one. Uh, this was <laughs> from Baghdad. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Pelek. <laughs> Heikki Kovis, Heikki the Puffy. And uh, why did I get that? Well, at that time, Iraq was still uh, sort of, it was the end of the war with Iran. But say Nokia had an office there, which I visited. And uh, it was because United Nations Industrial Development Organization sent me there to a conference to give a paper, and, and that was the reason. Okay, but uh, I was born as Heikki Koivuniemi. There, I'm a three-year-old, I think. Uh, and this, this photo you see here and there, like now, in Uryune was uh, biography, uh, Big Bang. So I'm on the left, uh, very shy and, and you know, uh, 
self-drawn. In the middle, we have had the national prosecutor, now retired, Matti Kuusimäki, and on the right, Yrjö Neuvo. With Yrjö, we have had uh, several joint uh, winters in life, being uh, in elementary school, then at university at the same time, <coughs> but I left after three years, so it's sort of a joke that uh, I never finished my studies here, but still I have been a professor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Annika, that was, was sitting there, uh, checked my record, and I could have continued my, my studies for a candidate degree. Uh, a few years ago, but now it's too, too late using the old record. Okay, preserve what is the school? Uh, current Virta Kovati Christ is already strong self esteem by reading mathematics, this is in English. Well, uh, best books. <laughs> After making others sing in such time and laugh, but nobody really knew who he was. Well, when you make this sort of chronicles, then all sorts of things. So then, uh, uh, officer candidate in the school for non-commissioned officers. Uh, our Heiki, in Finnish, there's a song. Made and Heiki, I, I have to admit that that is my weakness, my singing voice. But uh, the troupe, my cartoon, was singing it. And, and so, uh, yes, I did not take it uh, so seriously, and my attitude was not as hard as some of my colleagues had. Well, in Helsinki, University of Technology, guild activity, uh, freshmen coming in, so, uh, yes, where is it? Ah, I like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, gift from my staff. Why not? And you see the omega sign indicating double E. <coughs> and uh, here is the story. Uh, bachelor's degree at the Masters and PhD in Minnesota. And uh, my academic career started in 71 at the University of Toronto. I'm very proud of that, that they, they had me. And, and that's the way it has been going. But I'm not going to uh, say much more about academic side. This is sort of maybe the dark side of uh, me. And so in 2005, I was socially supervisor of the year at Helsinki University of Technology. And my staff, what did they do? They gave me a present. Hmm. Yes. Right. I really wanted a horse whip, but, but uh, you know, can do. And now I'm sorry to say, I wanted to show you also a carrot, because that's the way you, you lead your troops. <coughs> carrot. Maybe even two. Whip. Well, once in a while. Okay. Um, yes, I have been uh, with my classmate in. in Ressu, uh, which I'm very proud to say, has been number one, sorry, last uh, uh, high school in Finland now, but Suk has also, also been number one, and so on, top three usually. Ressu is number one. So there I had, uh, had a fellow student who went to, to uh, become a theater director, and, and at the time he was writing sketches. Uh, and and uh, I was so disappointed in Tampere with the Christmas parties that they had. So I took some some of these uh, manuscripts and, and we were paying those. So here I am. Uh, other activity, yes, basketball. I was playing with, with staff, but then I thought that they were not that good. So let's join the students. And eventually we set up a basketball team called Pompu. I don't know if they play still in second division or... How they do, I think. They have two teams. Okay. Uh, yes, basketball. Uh, uh, maybe even bigger love is, is <coughs> football. And uh, I'm so happy to see both Tapio and Jussi here. 
uh, when I went to Tampere, it was 1975, uh, immediately during summertime they saw me in, in uh, Nalkala and, and the rest is history. There are other football players you know, like Javi who, who played in the university team. Uh, so since the time is, is running out, I'm uh, going to... Uh, oh, yeah, I did want to show you this. But, uh, I had an Italian student who, uh, I mean, this, this was sort of nice, uh, French colors and uh, France, of course, was world champion, but then it had this uh, 50, this was my 50 year <coughs> anniversary, the football match, which I wanted. But then Maurizio, who left a couple of years ago, uh, thought that, uh, as you see, he recognized AC Milan covers that they really needed uh, number 10. So Koiva uh, would have been an appropriate addition to AC Milan. As we know, it's doing very, very poorly this year. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I think I better <coughs> stop right here, except that, that uh, there's a question that. Uh, Who's the cleverest uh, of these three? <laughs> and I leave, leave you to think about it. <laughs> there are many answers to this. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> okay. I'm holding up here, and, and uh, if there is one quick question, I, I allow it. It seems that I will be the chair of this. Session. Okay, good. So I'll uh, i let Lennart come and take the You should have asked the last question in the words who looks the cleverest of all of this. actually the answer is then comes from the question. Who is alive? The most people. 